There's something that's not very common knowledge about Mussolini, the dictator of Italy during World War II. That then, of course, since Mussolini didn't really do a lot during World War II, I mean, he did some stuff, but he was more Hitler's follower or servant than he was anything else. He didn't like being treated like a servant. The other Italians didn't like that the Germans treated them like servants. But on the scale of things, it's how it happened. Now, I, say, I said in my previous video that Mussolini taught Hitler. Hitler watched Mussolini's every move, studied it, and found a way to do so to do the th to do those things himself. However, Mussolini needed a friend if he was going to engage his goal of rebuilding the Grand Roman Empire. And the only one who was offering was Hitler. Excuse me. So, so, it's pretty, and so after such, he kind of just stayed out of it. He attempted to take over two places, failed miserably. The Germans took over those places, and Mussolini just kind of drifted away. Then in 43, Patton liberated Italy from Mussolini, but, you know, that's a whole other story. So, people often ask this when they hear about Mussolini. When Mussolini took over Italy, he did not kill the Italian royal family. He imprisoned them on a small island just off the coast of Italy. I do not remember what the island's name is, but... I do not remember the name of this island. Just know it is a small island off the coast of Italy. So people ask, since there are many similarities between the four dictators of World War II, Hitler dictating Germany, Mussolini, Italy, uh, Hideki Tojo, Japan, I mean, people, th you know, like, I know the emperor was still head of state, and he still is today, but t Emperor Hirohito? Puppet. He was, he was what we call a political puppet. A man who is high in power, and well, this could apply to women in power too, but still. A political puppet is someone who is in power, like has all the power in a specific place, but they are um, open to suggestions from other leaders. To a point where they barely make any decisions and are morally, as the term implies, puppets for the others. And that's what Hirohito was. And his puppet master was Prime Minister Hideki Tojo. Okay, so. So, anyway, so. But here's the big boiling point. Here are the four dictators Mussolini with Italy, Hitler with Germany, Tojo with Japan, Stalin with Russia. And people ask, noting the, four sim noting the similarities between the four dictators. One of the main things is that, well, the German royal family was cast out of power at the end of World War I. Uh, the Japanese royal family is something you can't get rid of. It's, it's like part of Japan's code of honor is the, is the royal family. And the royal family has never done Japan anything too wrong before. And they're just going to keep it. Yeah. However, people ask this. Noting that since most similarities exist between the, since the most similarities exist between the three European ones, now Japan still has some similarity, but still, still. Why didn't Mussolini kill the Italian royal family like Stalin killed the Russian royal family at the end, towards the end of World War I? Well, here's the main difference. The Russian royal family in the beginning, the Russian Empire was, like most empires, a glorious empire with, lead with bold leaders, with good heads on their shoulders. But over time, it happened.
the thing that usually happens with most empires, where the leadership gets so corrupt and has, and pardon my language, but language, but a main point, and gets their heads stuck so far up their ass, they have to go. This is essentially what happened to the Russian royal family. Tsar. The Tsar is the emperor of the Russian Empire. The last Tsar was Tsar Nicholas Romanov II. He was an inept military leader, leading millions of Russians to die in World War I and leading Russian civilians to either freeze and or starve to death. And the rest of the royal family was just as bad as he was. There was little to nothing good to be said about the last royal family of Russia, the Romanov family. Particularly as time goes on, like with most royal families, the Romanovs were grand in their beginning in their beginning. But as time went on and more and more czars died, came down to Nicholas. And he led Russia into ruin. To a point where he had to die. Why they took the rest of the royal family is they were afraid that they'd seek vengeance for his death. Or that they may grow up to be even worse than he was somehow. So they killed the entire royal family. And anyone who did survive was exiled from Russia for the rest of their lives. If there is anyone left still alive, if there is anyone left living who is related to the Romanov family, they're not allowed to return to Russia, even to this day. And so... So how come Mussolini didn't do this with the Italian royal family? The Russian royal family were corrupt and inept. The Italian royal family, even if they're not in power, at the even they weren't even if they weren't technically in power, but at the time, the Italian royal family back then is like the British royal family today. Loved and respected by the people. People, even if they don't have power, people respect their opinion and have the grandest of respect for them. But the difference is the Italian royal family, till Mussolini rose, was in power. And they hadn't, and while they had made bad decisions between the world wars, they led the Italians to victory in World War I. Only until after the world wars, the king started to lose his mind. And so, of course, and but Mussolini knew that the Italian royal family meant something to the Italian people. And if he killed them, like Stalin did with the Russian royal family, it would only mean a violent resistance. And he didn't want to risk that. So he simply exiled them off to a small little island just off the coast of Italy. Which, you know, was kind of Pointless not wanting to risk that, as eventually his decisions led to a violent resistance anyway. But he, but who's to say it would have been any more or any less violent if he had killed the royal family? Who's to say? Who's to say? I'll see you all next time.